in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit you You see, when you know how much people need to see the power and the glory of God, when He gives you a responsibility and an anointing, you cherish it and you pour your all. Hallelujah. There are many people tonight, there are many families here depending on the hand of God because medicine has failed. You heard the testimony of the woman you know because of the rushing in this testimony many of you don't get to hear it this sister was diagnosed with fibroid i was told the fibroid was as big as the head of a baby hallelujah and by the grace of god she just saw it there were ramblings in her stomach have you ever heard of that kind of thing medical people you know what it means for fibroid to be attached right but everything passed out by the finger of God hallelujah listen brothers and sisters these are not the works of men this these are not even the works of Joshua Selman what you see tonight is an election of grace is the hand of God there are some things money cannot do there are some things excellence cannot do there are some things intelligence cannot do are you getting me there is a way you see the signature of God God signs it in a place and says this is me hallelujah what you see happening in koinonia inside and outside when i came in i was broken seeing the people some everywhere on the fence on the wall no publicity no nothing brothers and sisters this is the finger of god this is why we give him praise there's no reason to brag hallelujah and the only way we can reward this commitment is to make sure that everyone gets something from God hallelujah this is why we are committed to praying and fasting and exposing ourselves to the light of God so that we will all experience his glory I've gotten so many text messages by people from people all around some have traveled all through yesterday night 12 hours you know far from end to end of this nation do you think people will waste their time like this to come and watch a cinema hallelujah that's why we have to get to the business of the night my only encouragement for you is don't waste your time you paid so much price to come hallelujah i want you to know that god is more than able the worship team there's no need taking another session of worship but the worship team have taken us to that frequency in the spirit where your faith should know that God is able we share these testimonies to encourage you because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy lay aside your intellectualism your math one plus one and just humble yourself tonight and say Lord I'm tired if you don't help me tonight this is all I do when I pray for these meetings I just say Lord there is no man who can help the people every time I drop down from the vehicle I just look at the people and now I'm wondering all these people are gathered together trusting that they will get something tonight or our Roberts told Benny Hinn something before he went to be with the Lord he was excited about the crowd that always came around for his meeting hallelujah and he was laying hands on them you know people were falling great things were happening and Ora Roberts looked at him and said Benny don't just lay hands on them give them something tonight 
I assure you that your time here will be worthwhile in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ father we thank you we are gathered unto you we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I just want to talk about three things very quickly to activate our faith and then we pray please listen because as I teach I believe that many people will begin to be impacted just touched inside and outside be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is doing hallelujah there are three things that the Lord put very strongly in my heart to share with us I believe that if we get these things they are keys for the operation of the Spirit tonight hallelujah number one is on our desire and our passion for God hallelujah praise the Lord now so many people come around for meetings like this and I understand the fact that there are people who are desperate for a miracle when the doctors tell you you have a week to live two weeks to live you know when there are all kinds of satanic oppression in homes and families I, I can understand the desperation of people hallelujah and the way people are when they are desperate they will do anything how many of you agree with that when people are truly desperate there's nothing they cannot do but then I just want to call your attention to the fact that your Christian experience will never be rich if your entire pursuit for God is just tied to what you can get from him are you getting my point now this is what we must examine there are lots of people that want things from God we want money from God we want prosperity we want healing we want anointing we want you know marriage and fruitfulness and every kind of thing we want the power of the devil taking off our lives and families but many people do not desire God genuinely hallelujah and our churches and parishes are full of people who truly do not love God they only come to God as one of the many options that can bless them and I don't want to take for granted because I know that there certainly are people here tonight who really do not love the Lord we just heard that God is doing great things and we say let's come and get our own share but the Lord is calling you tonight that you must love him beyond the miracle you will receive are you following me now this is the first word of the Lord there are many of us who are not serious with our spiritual life many families many parents many young people we we are just careless with our relationship with god very careless very cold very lukewarm the only thing we give god is our trouble we just say lord take my trouble give me your peace but that determination to say lord i love you whether i'm healed or not whether i am blessed or not whether you increase my family or not whether the husband comes or not whether the wife comes or not whether i get a job whether i get admission or not whether the sickness leaves or not leaving you is not an option are you getting my point you must get to that place in your life where leaving god this issue of up today down tomorrow this is the first thing god is examining today. I love him more than ministry I love him more than power how could I insult God by comparing him to the things he can give hallelujah Psalm 84 let's rush let's just look at a few things Psalms 84 verse 2 the psalmist said something really beautiful verse 2 my soul longed yeah even fainted for the courts of the lord this was the psalmist communicating his passion for god beyond royalty beyond him being the king of israel he said my heart and my flesh cry out for the living god is that your experience that you say lord i know that i'm sick I know that I've been diagnosed of this and that. I know that there are demonic entities oppressing my life and my family. But tonight, 
my my focus is not just the miracle but you my focus tonight is not just my business my focus tonight is not just to tie my husband and bring him from wherever he is no my focus tonight is you not peace not joy not miracles not anointing not breakthrough i want your presence i want your glory i want the fullness of you this is the secret this is the part the devil does not like in a believer's journey where you begin to honor god above and beyond what he can give you because every time you love god beyond things you cripple the power of satan hallelujah verse 10 same scripture it says for a day in your court is better than a thousand i had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my god than to dwell in the tents of wickedness can you imagine he's saying i love god and the things of god so much so that even if i become a sanctuary keeper in the house of god i prefer it to enjoying any other benefit do you have that degree of passion for god there are some of us who just came here because we came to escort families that are desperate you came to stay with them and they just have to drive you to follow them because they are locking their house and now you are here you must get to that point our primary goal as a ministry is to ignite the fire of the spirit in the hearts of men it is important it matters that your love for god see this is why the christian experience of many believers especially in this country cannot last you hear that a man is passionate about god a pastor is passionate about god after a while either as a result of extreme success or extreme failure it still creates the same effect they leave god can you make up your mind tonight that lord beyond these blessings because there are people who are already angry with god have you had people telling god if you don't do anything this night i know you are not god i will backslide who goes to hell jesus hallelujah you must love him with all your heart let me show you something just one more scripture john 6 verse 23 john 6 verse 23 very interesting scripture john 6 jesus had multiplied bread remember the story five loaves two fish they all ate and they were happy look up in this nigeria the way many people are suffering if you get somebody who can speak over bread and it multiplies will you leave him will you leave him so the bible tells us that jesus just performed an excellent miracle and the next day they came there they didn't come because they loved him they didn't come because they were convicted by the miracles he did they came because they were hungry and they now found a bread provider hear what jesus says to them verse 23 nevertheless there came other boats from tiberias near unto the place where they did eat bread after that the lord had given thanks 24 when the people therefore saw that jesus was not there neither his disciples they also took boats and they came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. They were seeking for Jesus, but it was not from a heart of passion. They were seeking for Jesus because of the bread. 25. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou here? 26. Now this is Jesus rebuking them. And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because he saw the miracles but because he did eat loaves and were filled there are so many people who seek god just because of what they want and there is nothing wrong with desiring god to meet our needs this is why we put a special program every month hallelujah out of the four weeks we have to fellowship we dedicate one to minister to god's people so it is God's desire to bless us. But hear me saints of God. If the whole circumference of your pursuit for God. Is tied to what you will get from God. 
you may not last that's why there are so many people disappointed and offended with god lord i gave my tithe i gave this and that lord i did this i thought the husband should have come i saw in a vision that i married by july this is february oh this this word now january hallelujah is that your story tonight or will you say lord as far as my pursuit for you is concerned there is no there is no option are you getting my point lord if if you don't answer me i become a love slave i'm bounded to you willingly it becomes impossible just like the salt covenant of the old testament how can you separate one salt from another i am i am bound to you leaving you is not an option but sliding is not an option failing in my prayer life is not an option I desire you and I desire your house. This is the secret of the presence of God. Hallelujah. Say after me, I desire the Lord above every miracle, above prosperity, above marriage. You must desire the Lord. Let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. This is the difference between the presence of God and a herbal home. Are you getting me? A herbalist doesn't ask you to have passion for Satan. He just tells you, you initiate yourself by some activities. But God willingly calls you. Come higher. Come deeper. You must love God. The three Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 3. Let's not turn there from verse 16. They said, let it be known to you, O king that our God will deliver us. He said, but even if he does not deliver us, bowing to this dagon, bowing to this statue of gold is not an option. Throw us into the fire. Our allegiance, our fraternity with God is unquestionable. There are many of us, God cannot trust us with certain levels of grace because we are vulnerable. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many ministers looking for power. There are many people looking for anointing. There are many people that see this kind of crowds and get angry. They said these people must be doing something. How can this kind of thing happen? Because they do not know that until God has your heart, you will never see his hand in your life. It takes God experiencing your heart. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. So make up your mind. This is January that in this 2014 beyond the miracle service have an identity of consistency in the spirit are you getting what I'm saying not that you start today and then by March or April people are wondering are you born again hallelujah there are so many people like that the only place you see them that confirms to you that they are born again is the house of God and that's because they want to get something or maybe they are workers in church i told god my allegiance for you my commitment for you even if you take away every anointing you have given me leaving you is not an option to leave you means to die the psalmist said as the deer pants as the deer pants after the water broke he says so my soul I know people who used to love God, Bishop, years ago. They are not even, they don't even love God. Talk more of ministry. Because their pursuit was not sincere. They were just looking for God. They had suffered inferiority complex. And they thought it was ministry or anointing that would heal them of it. And they, they came as though they were seeking God. And today is Ichabod. The glory has departed. I thought you can get our teaching the secret of sustained glory. 
there is a principle that keeps the fire of God upon a man's life that with changing seasons will remain unchanging hallelujah so tonight God is examining our hearts we will get the miracles we have labored in prayer in the word and God has given us the assurance of his presence hallelujah but I need you to know that beyond the miracles hear me everyone inside or outside God is calling you there is an experience that is bigger than receiving things from God there is an experience that is bigger than job bigger than money bigger than wife bigger than business bigger than ministry bigger than power bigger than healing bigger than deliverance it says he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty hallelujah in john 21 from verse 15 you can just write it you don't need to turn there remember the disciples were walking with jesus christ i've told you in our previous teachings that the disciples were not following jesus because they loved him they were following him because they wanted to shine is that true because they were the disciples of john the baptist before jesus came is that true when he came and he was the new superstar what happened there was a migration is that true and they all came there and they were happy eventually the motif of their heart began to be tested and they came and they said jesus we have left everything to follow you what is our court in this deal hallelujah can you help me to handkerchief please praise the lord Thank you. praise god and then the bible tells us listen please the bible says that when they caught jesus remember when the people came to carry jesus christ they thought he was going to wave his hands bind them and do a lot of things and when he offered himself what happened to them they ran away everybody peter tried he got to a point he said i've tried it was only john that was there at the cross so when he resurrected peter went back to his fishing the disciples said we go with you and in in 21 verse 15 he looked at peter jesus now and he said simon peter lovest thou me more than this what are the these matthew 33 hallelujah jesus began to speak and he said a lot about uh, sorry matthew 6 i'm sorry don't you don't have to turn there we're out of time we have to rush matthew 6 from verse 33 offers verse 32 really he said for the gentiles seek after these things what are the things you go to the previous verse 31 talks about food to eat clothes to wear god knows you need these things but he's asking you lovest thou me more than this there are certain people if god puts a husband and he puts himself before he finishes going to his place you run and carry the husband and say thank you jesus i really appreciate you you are a very nice man i like this kind of god or if god puts money the worst one is money there are many of us as god is putting you can say let me just die there take my life but let me fall down this morning hallelujah god will keep screening your heart until he finds out he is the king of kings in your heart see this is why some people get things cheaply in life God knows that whether they get it or not, it no longer has influence on their, on, his, on their relationship with him. So he can freely give to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say, I love the Lord with all my heart. If you are not yet convinced, don't worry, you don't have to say it. But before the end of the service, make sure you are convinced that you need God beyond what he can give, he, he can give you. Hallelujah. Your passion for God must exceed the miracle you want to get. Number two, this may come as a shocker for many of us. The second point, the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. And I think this is probably why, please listen, many believers in the body of Christ do not get to experience the reality of the blessings of the Lord. God told me something that shocked me. God's love for you 
is unconditional but his promises are conditional God's love for you is unconditional but his promises are conditional you always have a role to play to access the blessings that are promised in scripture listen many of us get carried away by the fact that God loves me if he wants to bless me he will bless me anyway if he wants to heal me he will heal me anyway if he wants to deliver me he will deliver me anyway that's a misguided teaching about love God's love is unconditional but as far as accessing his promises and accessing our inheritance in Christ are concerned we have a role to play are you are you understanding me now Romans 5 verse 8 talks about the fact that while we were yet sinners we have to rush really help us Holy Spirit Romans 5 verse 8 says while we were yet sinners Christ died for us unconditional we didn't do anything hallelujah he just went to the cross died and shed his blood for our sins but look at Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 Deuteronomy 28 Deuteronomy 28 thank you Jesus it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently not if thou shalt wish in your room if thou shalt do what hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord to observe and to do that means there is something you must do are you getting me so Jesus paid the price but to walk in the reality there is a role I, I don't know how I can sound this to the body of Christ that it is not all up to God and it is not all up to you this is what koinonia is about partnership there is a role you must play if we keep deceiving ourselves that he has done everything oh hallelujah he has done it it's working it's not working there are principles the bible says it shall come to pass if you will hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee then this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you hallelujah deuteronomy 6 verse 1 Again, we apologize for those outside please just listen deuteronomy 6 very powerful scripture many of us love this scripture because of what it says hallelujah verse 10 it says and it shall be when the lord thy god shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto your father Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob to give thee great and godly cities which thou buildest not say amen and houses full of good things which thou fieldest not and wells dig which thou diggest not vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not when thou art eaten and you are full all right these are the blessings we like claiming it oh i'll get a house i didn't pay for i'll get this and that which is true it's true but the bible always put conditions when you read from verse 13 to 15 we really don't have time for that it says that thou shalt fear the lord you will serve him there are things you will do and you shall swear by his name and then verse 14 says you shall not go after other gods the gods of the people which are around you last verse 15 it says for the lord thy god is a jealous god lest the anger of the lord be kindled against you and it destroys you from the face of the earth there are conditions are you getting what i'm saying these conditions are encapsulated in what jesus christ called the keys of the kingdom the keys the bible says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries an opening of the operation of the kingdom hallelujah even favor this favor we talk about how many of you know like nigerians like favor
which is good honestly favor is great if the favor of god is not working in your life something is wrong but do you know that it is the outworkings of favor that has nothing to do with you it takes an operation to initialize its working in your life for instance the gift of a man makes room the making room and bringing him that's where favor is but that gift must be in place are you getting the point now there's no man in scripture except a few people and that was because of certain covenants people like Mephibosheth but the Bible talks about Daniel it was an excellent spirit that brought him out Joseph it was his ability to interpret dreams so favor doesn't just drop around like that there are things that initiate it unfortunately in the body of Christ we like receiving things without finding out the condition and our justification is God loves us Are you getting blessed god hammered this in my spirit so while you are seated tonight there are many of us what you need tonight is not prayers really what you need tonight is an understanding about how to get the thing that you really want uh, the principle that governs its operation Hallelujah. Are you following me? So the love of God is conditional. Yes, ago, I had Oyedeko hammering on this thing. This is what he calls the covenant. You know, I've been a controversial person concerning this covenant thing. There are many teachings about covenant I don't believe. We'll explain that I've, I've, I've done a, a few teachings I understand when you teach about covenant meaning that you have a role to play and God has a role to play that's a balanced view of covenant but when you teach covenant in a way that removes the mercy of God is no longer an understanding because God is working with man Psalms 8 says he knows that we are dust are you getting me there is a misguided teaching on covenant that makes people to blame God and insult God and makes it look like if you don't do it you are not God hallelujah there's no time I would have shown you from scripture remember Jesus gave a parable of somebody that went that the vine dresser was calling to go to the vineyard early in the morning and they agreed they had a covenant for a denary they went to the farm and they were walking they didn't go because they loved the man they went because they had an agreement correct at the at noon time he saw some other people sitting idle he said why are you sitting idle he says no man employs us he said go and walk no negotiation they went because they loved him up to the 11th hour is that true they still found others and they went no negotiation are you getting my point when it was time for him to pay them he started with those who went those who had started in the morning he gave them a denary and then he turned to others that didn't give him condition he said now since you have allowed me to choose my blessing i give you the same wage and it annoyed those other people so there is a dimension of your work with god that is beyond covenant is if i perish i perish i love you beyond this thing are you getting my point that teaching of saying if i give god a he must give me b is not accurate whether god gives you b or not are you getting my point if you can put that to your concept of covenant it becomes balanced otherwise we are going to have a bunch of hypocrites in the body of christ claiming they love god god i gave you five naira you promised me ten naira i'm still waiting if it does not come you are not god i will announce to the whole world that you are not faithful have you had people say that i will drop my mic and stop preaching ah that's not accurate i love him I know that he is faithful to do this but even if he does not do it my commitment Bible faith that works right and there is another concept that was a product of hunger and dimness of light and this is what many people advocate and they call faith hallelujah there are so many people who are not practicing what the Bible calls faith 
and we'll look at it very in fact this one i just had these two to share but in the afternoon the lord just pressed this thing in my heart i want to define faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability i'll come again faith is the name given to the action the action you take based on your conviction please if you have not been listening now is the time to wake up don't let the devil cheat you this is this is the bottom part of this teaching before we start ministry praise god the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability faith is the name given to you the action the action that is taken your action not your intention or wishful thinking is called faith many people call wishful thinking faith many people call hallucination and imagination faith this is metaphysics are you getting my point now there are people who have all kinds of jargons on the walls and the room of their houses and they are not satisfying the scriptural conditions to be, become these things and we read a lot of books that say sit down wake up in the night just look at it let it enter your subconscious be careful there is a balanced view about the power of imagination and there is an erroneous occultic new age metaphysics understanding that is leading people into derision are you getting my point now faith is action everybody say it listen if you have not yet taken action you have not manifested faith i don't care what else you have done listen please if you get this revelation many of you as this word is coming you will walk out of your sick body at once because of the power of this revelation i will show you from scripture help us holy spirit which watch is correct now wow i have to rush there is no faith without action impossible there is no faith without action hallelujah i always give an example um let me use somebody mike come i'm going to call this gentleman please everybody concentrate when i call you say you are coming but don't come mike come what did i ask him to do he's saying he's coming did he come mike come and take if you can live where you are and come here by reason of your trust take this is what a lot of believers are doing we start dreaming nonsense thinking we are manifesting faith there are conditions god is saying fulfill that condition and take we are busy standing and saying oh i know i just know i know it will happen no. it doesn't happen that way bless you sir everybody say faith is the action taken based on my conviction of god's word his love for me his integrity and his ability that action is what the bible calls faith are you getting something tonight this is an eye opener for many people because you will see that what a lot of us are calling believe, believe, believe is not true. We are not manifesting faith. Faith, the faith life does not make you an idiot. We have turned this faith thing to become as if we are foolish people. Read your Bible. Those who walk in authentic realms of faith did not behave the way we are behaving. Hallelujah. Let me show you a few scriptures. Matthew chapter 9, if you can help us very quickly, media. Matthew chapter 9, from verse 18 to 22. Remember the woman with the issue of blood. Just write it and look up. Matthew 9, 
from verse 18 hallelujah uh, let's just go to 19 and Jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples verse 20 and behold a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood how many years 12 years came behind him and did what she did what she came and took action is that true she did something based on a conviction that she had what was the conviction 21 for she said within herself that's where many of us stop is that not true oh i know if jesus passes here if i may but touch his garment while she said that she was waiting when she saw jesus she said crowd protocol fire this night the bible says as she touched it do you know if she did not touch him that's how she would have remained like that is that true and that will make jesus look as though he was not powerful see in action is the missing component in our faith equation we do every other thing but take steps as simple as what i'm telling you is is the reason why many people will never be delivered many people will never be healed many people may never experience the blessings of god another story john 5 from verse 5 to 9 remember the impotent man very interesting story john 5 jesus always demanded action john 5 and a certain man was there which had infirmity how many years 30 and 8 years is that true look at me he never got healed because he did not take action is that true verse 6 we have to run and jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 the important man started giving all kinds of explanations verse 8 like many of us are giving and jesus said unto him look at me how can jesus tell a man who has been lying down for 38 years who cannot move he said rise take in other words prove your conviction by doing something you have never done 38 years jesus is not an idiot he sees a man lying down just to move to a pool close to him he could not move for 38 years now jesus says you claim you trust me if you believe i'm the messiah stop giving me that grammar rise up in the moment you take the action the power of god comes in it does not take a long time this is faith the action you take based on your conviction let's look at a few more mark 2 mark 2 mark 2 verse 1 to 12 but let's just look at verse 4 mark 2 verse 4 we have to hurry up this is already the miracle mark 2 verse 4 listen when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof look at me jesus was holding a crusade is that true is that true those sitting outside say amen so the bible says there were people packed full inside and outside like this is that true and jesus was teaching and certain people were desperate and they said today you have been a liability to us you must stand up we are not ready to take you back home and the bible says when they came they saw the crowd the people said the owner of this house we will negotiate after the miracle but for now they got do you know what it means jewish do you know how jewish houses were made they were made with mud you would have to break through look at what the bible says they uncovered the roof that was and when they had what they broke it jesus was just sitting down and he had some people hitting i'm sure others were saying don't disturb or say keep talking i will keep manifesting faith when i get what i want i can tell you sorry the, listen 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 the bible says wherein the sick of palsy lay i want to show you something that will shock you now next verse please ay, 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 ay. when jesus saw what what was their faith their action their action that that step they took based on their conviction the bible says faith can be seen 
it's not some metaphysical thing i can know whether you have faith by the degree of your adherence to the principles i can see it and know whether your faith is working you you can't fool us and say i have faith if you have faith see james said show me show me your your works without faith and i will show you my faith through the action that i'm taking what does that mean that you came here with cancer do you believe the lord will heal you yes i believe that's why i came that's good step one when the word of god comes that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say cancer you had the prophetic word shake it off don't just sit down you're wondering no two more scriptures quickly luke 17 this is an interesting one the story of the ten lepers verse 11 let me show you the dynamics the spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous i pray that your eyes will be open to see verse 13 please let's hurry up listen the bible says there were 10 lepers who have been discussing is this how we will continue abby people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what the bible did not say they lifted it and just they just whispered to lift up means they shouted and they said jesus master you know jesus doesn't walk alone i'm sure his peers were saying hurry up they said we may be crippled but our mouth is not crippled we are going to shout till we get your attention listen did jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi i love jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think i can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if i said this then this should grammar that thing we do is not called faith if you take action god is committed Listen, the Bible says, and it came to pass. Watch this. As they, this is the dynamics. Listen, I want to explain something powerful here. As they, they were, that means their being clean was tied to their going. As they, they were, this sign shall not go before. If you prove God sent you, start moving. And he said, the signs, the signs will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came Look at me. There are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church. Do you know that there are people that when they come, when hands are about to be laid on them, they say, don't lay hands on me, just speak. You are a sick patient. The doctor said, turn for injection. You say, I don't like injection. Walk out of the hospital. As simple as that. When there's a way the sickness will press you, that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow, you say, just give me. When you still have options you are not yet pushed to the world look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the world that you must react are you getting my point verse 7 are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9. listen 
Look up, please. Let me just tell the story quickly. Remember the man who was born blind? The Bible says Jesus spat on the floor, correct? And he started making clay. I can imagine where well, the man could not see. Now, watch this. Hiya. I love Jesus. Jesus inspires me. I'm telling you. He said unto him, To who? The blind man. Jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand. He spoke to the blind man. He said, Oh God, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which by interpretation is sent. And the Bible says, He went his way, therefore, and washed and returned. See, how will Jesus speak to a blind man? Oh, yeah, I've done my own part. If you like, sit down here for one week. If you are interested, go and wash. Remember what the prophet told Naaman. He said, go to Jordan and bath. While he was giving all those confessions, I will not go. I will go. I will not go. He said, continue. If you want to manifest faith, carry two of your legs, march to Jordan. He was saying, are there no other river? This is, many people think it just stops at talking, talking, talking. Naaman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there it was a very muddy water hallelujah bathed the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the holy ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in listen the bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the holy ghost was moving peter get this man to take a step In every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time I would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in Samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of God was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part 
when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marry in june how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find her paper but god said am i too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part i'm telling you in an inexplainable way god is committed and tonight i want you to know that your part is to have come see i tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you say i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place.
Alléluia. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been the head of department prayer band. He even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god assured me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please When we begin to pray, I don't know if we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do. Make sure, remember the teaching. You must take action. You must take action. That action, look at what our mommy shared. Remember the, the, the testimony our mommy shared. Do you know that we brought, I sent that they should bring a seat for her. What? She refused. As a proof to the devil. Are you getting my point? That, that I may be old, but I'm well. Are you ready to drop those chains now? There is no need. Please hear me. There is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation. For there is a name. There are families represented here tonight. Tonight you will pass the Red Sea and you will part with Egypt forever. families under bondages yokes there are many of us who have come under spells it's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession Hallelujah. I tell you if you see what the lord is showing me in the spirit goodness the devil is in trouble this night lift your hands brothers and sisters thank you father please lift your hands inside and outside Sita 
Balanda Brech da Balaraba. Hallelujah. Hear me wherever you are. The power of God is going to begin to move across the crowd. And everywhere you are, there is a name tonight that is above every demon, every yoke, every spell. And at the mention of that name, devils will leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the count of three, wherever you are, goodness, there will be so much deliverances outside. Listen, as I count three, I want you to shout that name. That's your action of faith at the top of your voice. And we will begin to command this wicked spirit. Already the power of God is moving. Are you ready now? One, two, Three. I call spirits. I call devils. Devils, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Now, come out. Go cross the pressure. Outside. Outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The fire is falling outside. Lift up your hands. Oh, ye gates. I command spirits. Devils. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every cross, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, falling outside, every spell, hallelujah, just those outside, lift your hands, the first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, there will be a rain of deliverance, are you ready now, one, two, three, Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Out! 
Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Capen de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second in Terekaba. So close to Bali. So close to Bali. So close to Bali. So let her go now by the fire of the holy ghost i challenge you right now in the name of jesus break every chain out of her now now come out of her right now by the fire of the holy ghost out of her right now let her go now now Break every chain. 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 Hear me, please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch those. No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are going. I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will weep out. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirits. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of, many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. 
There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside. And many people will be delivered right now. At the count of three. Are you ready? Thank you, Father. Let your fire move right now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Spirit husband, spirit wife, demons of darkness, ancestral causes. Go, 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 go. Serpents, scorpions, marine spirits. Out, 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 out. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. for all these people outside I'm speaking to the spirits now at the count of three the fire of God burns you out of these people every spirit hear my voice I speak from the realm of the spirit right now the fire of the Holy Ghost one Shabbat shalom. 
You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling, falling, yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she packet a kitaya. I give the chains. Zeko pedi ya shakata. I give the chains. Now listen, listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of blood substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, listen, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. You literally feel like an object, like a snake, moving around, especially when you're on your bed. Who is that person? The Lord is revealing to me. Please, quickly, let's save time. Once I mention your case, just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside, let's just hurry up very quickly. We don't have time. Goodness, help us, Lord. 
The devil is in trouble tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. You are the person? Okay, hold on. You've been having this pain. Please tell us, how has it been? Yeah, it started from here. Listen, listen, please. For about three years now. About three years. What do you feel, sir? Feel pain here. They scanned, so nothing. They scanned, there was nothing. And you feel it moving? Yes, up to now. I'm even... Up till now, even now as you are talking. Watch it disappear now. Watch it disappear. You, you are an elderly man. You get my point. So you will not come and be lying when it's not done. But you watch and see what the power of God will do. Because they scanned it medically. Goodness, please let me do something quickly. I see this lady wearing a crown. Let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on her. Anybody, lay your hands. Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Cabro That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. All right, lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you. That very place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? Do you feel any pain there? It's going. It's going, right? It's going, right? Look at him smiling. It's going, right? Now, check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Yes, so check it. Keep the green bee butter. Going. Go roll the shoe. Go. Everything will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead. Bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down. Up and down. Exercise. Yes. Yeah. And watch the pain leave. Any pain. Any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there. Now. It's going. It's going. Where? Where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking, checking. And they tell you, we don't know what is wrong. Save yourself headache. Just come for prayers quick. Because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of Satan. It's exactly three years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In, in Jesus' name. Now, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. Everything. When everything, when everything disappears, look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow, look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That would be the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But well, let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. Go! No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ.
Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. You, wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because it's a, sometimes you sit. Do you have any feeling? Maybe you are not yourself. You have those. Yes, sir. You have those kind of feelings. Sometimes you feel as if you don't even. It's like you don't know. Yes. This is madness. This thing would have come upon you last year. It was because of the hand of God. And the devil was determined that this year, this madness must follow you. But tonight, God will deliver you. You believe me? We have to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. Tied completely. God is touching someone there. Bring the lady. Let hope rise. I command that madness. Go! Right now. I see. Look at what is happening to him. Look at, look at this. Look at this. How can somebody just start scratching his head because I said go? This is madness. The devil wanted to put on. Go, 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 go. Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now all of you lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please. Look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. Out! 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 You must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine, a shrine catching fire. Every shrine, every devil's shrine, where your name and that of your family member has been taken to, it catches fire now. It catches fire now. hallelujah goodness god is going to do a fantastic miracle outside i'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside god is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth please check it if you confirm you are the one don't tell us lies here please confirm it and come out god is god is filling holes holes literally literally to close up hallelujah now ladies god wants to do a number of things irregular menstruation god is going to heal a lot of these things and then lump lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region hallelujah lift your hands everybody i want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now 
Let it disappear now. Let it disappear now. 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 Long go. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every, every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please just line up. Usher's protocol, help us arrange them, please. Please be very orderly, no fighting. Let's hurry up. While that is happening, how many of you have not written your prayer requests? Please write it quickly, quickly. Write it quickly and let's have it. You came specifically, whether within Zaria or outside Zaria, you came specifically for healing. Hallelujah. Specifically for healing. Please, let's save time. You can see that we're really out of time. We started late. Hallelujah. Myself and Bishop will minister to you. Listen, please, as we pray for you, expect the power of God to touch you. And as the power of God touches you, begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat. Please come out, line up. Once we pray for the first row, just give thanks. And the rest will just be praying in tongues. Worship team, you're going to lead us. Very hot worship as we do this. Very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Bishops. So we're going to pray for you. Some of you are coming out. What will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you. Are you following me now? I know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones. So as we pray, call them. There are some of you, put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy. Tell your loved ones a word is coming. Wherever they are, let the power of God touch them. Hallelujah. Bless you, worship team. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the
affects him any okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God Out. His Out. name Out. is Jesus Out. Christ I see him die This is what I see He died and he rose And he gave me victory I
Legs, goodness. Since when? Ten years. Ten years. How do are you a witness? Is you that brought? What what how do how does it shift? She will fall and can hold on. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Nikab, I speak to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, no shifting for you again from today. I bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out. Now, I command your ligaments, I command everything like Ezekiel 37 to be back. Walk. What do you feel? What do you feel? Look at, come up. Her ligaments for 10 years. She, she falls down by herself. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Look at this. Her kneecap used to shift. Her kneecap used to shift. You are, come, come, come on. Who are you to her? Who are you to her? A family friend. You are a what? Family friend. You know her. You know that this is true. Sister, look, look at the girl crying. Could she do this before? She couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the... You see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. He died and rose. Jesus died. They what? They initiated him. Into what? They gave him food. Then you'll be seeing spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you if he tell you you'll be surprised oh they initiated him that devil is a liar bring him up uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry it's your daughter it's okay see mommy look let me tell you including you God, will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That I carry him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You, look at this. Hallelujah. That, that this water is blood 
if they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very function and mommy, listen, it's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. In the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. You should still, what does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. He was eleven in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that I, even I myself have been seeing a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not come back to look at me. The, the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkness dwells in the holy land. Let hope rise. Darkness dwells in the holy land. Let hope rise. at me he speaks english he speaks english say after me jesus jesus i love you i love you from today from today i set myself free i set myself by the power of the blood by the power of the from any covenant any covenant and any initiation any initiation from today i belong to jesus i belong to jesus satan Satan, pack your load, pack your load, and go. And go. I have no business. I have no business with you. With you. I declare. I declare that I am for Jesus. I Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out. This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's your, it's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? I see him as I'm praying for him. It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's it. As he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He said he will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free, I set that lady free now. Leave her alone. No, 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 I'm not talking to you people, I'm speaking to the spirit. Go now. How can it know that I'm talking? Am I not talking to everybody here? Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snake, even there will... Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? Mm. This is your own because we need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. Ah, uh -uh, is that why you're holding her? Just leave her alone. 
myself. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. Go. I hear the chains falling. It's alright. Mommy, you are free. You and your family, salvation comes to you this night. In Jesus' name. She's okay, she's free. Please, while this is happening, start passing your prayer request. Inside, outside, please, quickly, start passing your prayer request. If you've not written it, write it. When we are prophesying, you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect. Or if you have whatever point of contact, no problem, it's scriptural. Sometimes he will pick a knife that he wants to kill. His. See another episode here. What? He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother. He will pick a knife that he wants to kill him. My brother, how are you? Well done. You love Jesus. You wait now. He's not the one. Look at me. Look at me. We give people here, among other things, spiritual intelligence. You understand? No man can just get up. Please, while you're listening, be passing your prayer request. God answers prayers in miraculous ways here. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So he's he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. You will be delivered right now. All right? He carried knife to kill who? His elder brother. Why? Just like that. I was in school, they called me. They had to lock him. They released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to Go, go, go. Eh? How old? 
nine years and his SS. And we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go. In the name of God. Jesus Christ. Let him go. Now. Please, as you're guarding the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much. And help me, please. Some of you can see me, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's, don't worry. Cause here the rain is falling. I hear the rain, and I'm not ashamed, not afraid, and I'm not afraid. Not Out.
submit your prayer request. It will go now. Look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just look at me. She has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for the explanation. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. In Jesus' name. Go! Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i'd like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 We thank you, we present our request before you. The things that we desire that you do for us. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that from this night we we'll begin to celebrate these miracles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Some of the requests look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. But we are celebrating the miracles, the successes in the name of Jesus. None will go unanswered in the name of Jesus. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, we present this request in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Please stand up everybody inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please please believe and return with mighty testimonies we don't have all the time to do the things we want to do but we want to challenge thrones dominions and every name that is named listen and the bible says and whatsoever adam called them that's what they became whatsoever adam called them the Bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them. And he told Job, Hast thou commanded thy morning? We're about to speak. Prophecy is very powerful, brothers and sisters. This is the moment where everyone can participate, including your loved ones who are not here. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease in this place. Everything called terminal disease. Everything called terminal disease. In the name that is above all names. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That sickness leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Every SS and AS genotype right now. The Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place. My God, let SS and AS change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now with medical proof. Change to AA now. Every HIV in this place, anyone with any deadly virus, HIV, cancer, diabetes, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now with medical proof be healed now i command your spirit responsible go go in the name of jesus everything that has tied your progress everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name I lose you from it now. I lose you from it now. I lose you from those chains now. Now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, both for you and your loved ones, hey, Prateka, ba, 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 ba. we release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. 
I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here. Things you should have accomplished. Something has pulled you down. There are levels you would have been right now. I command right now, according to the anointing of the Spirit upon my life, let there be acceleration now. Acceleration now. Acceleration now. I challenge the powers that hold you down. Let them go. I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the act of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married. It's like they are not married. There are others that should marry. And there are powers that have said you will not get married. This night, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. God protected me. I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. The power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave. Are you getting me? There is, there is fire in this place. Especially for those outside. We are going to count three and we will shout that name Jesus. I want you to get ready. At the shout of that name. Not just for you. Hallelujah. Not just for you alone, but for your loved ones. Whatever will not let you go this night must go for you. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. See, I'm telling you, I see a lot of oppression, especially outside. A lot of oppression. This is why God has sent us. Bible says he gave them authority. He gave them power said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah there's fire in this place at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus inside and outside. The overflow here and the other one there. Shout Jesus at the count of three. And at the mention of that name, let's see the power that will stand. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night of liberty. Bring them out, please. Ushers, be sensitive. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Let your power move across this place inside and outside i confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of god the presence of god is here and in the mighty name of jesus it will bow are you ready now one two three let god's people go 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 every foul devil every wicked spirit inside and outside come out now come out now come out now let god's people go now let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? 
Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God. Move outside with the drone principalities. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Let God's people go by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now. But your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside, especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem that disguises itself. It, it may have different names. He said the enemy has done this. Don't let technology confuse you. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready now? Lift your hands please. Jesus, thank you. My God, there will be a mighty wave of the spirit. All you need to do for me is to flash the symbol. Are you ready now? At the count of three, with all your heart, my God, let your power move, representing families with dethroned yokes. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Families be free. Families be free. Jesus. I challenge altars, yokes. Tying down families. Tying down families. Hey, I, come, I, come, I, come. I command, lose them now. Lose them now. Every enchantment, every divination. Now, be loose. Be loose. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be loose. Second, 
For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people. At the count of three, time up you must go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. On your mark set, go. Go, go now. Go, 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 go. Don't waste our time. Go out of them and go now. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, your shadow. Bring her to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside. Ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel that confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost two people outside I hear the chains falling oh, I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling hallelujah now listen listen hallelujah you had a dream please listen to me you had a dream and the snake a snake beat you on your left leg a dream it was in a dream but it was very real please who is that person please let's save them come out quickly you're a guy come out quickly you're a guy let's hurry up if you're still thinking about it go back to your seat snake beat you on your left leg Praise the Lord. Now, there is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices, I mean. Now, not the voice of the spirit. In fact, it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please, who is that? Very quickly. Very quickly. Come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the spirit right now. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling, 
Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I hear the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I hear the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him. Because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow, lift your hands. You, just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? How dare you defy the presence of God? Mm. For he will give us the eyes of eagles. Now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you are going right now. For I've seen you in the spirit. One, two, three, out of her right now. Go, 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 go. I see the chains falling. Yeah. I see the chains falling. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have a lot to do. My brother, you love the Lord with all your heart. I want you to know that when you stay in his presence, it melts away every darkness. You must believe this. Hallelujah. You must believe this. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. When he finds himself in you, it becomes a doorway. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. And touch not your unclean thing. I set you free in the name of Jesus. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Please speak me. I set you free. Now, I want to pray for people with peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Please, peptic ulcer, just come out quickly. File out here quickly. Please, let's save time. Our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of their time. While they are coming out, let's appreciate our soon-to-be groom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our brother, Jimmy, and his wonderful wife-to-be, Hope, wave your hands. Hallelujah. Tomorrow by this time, they'll be happily married, so we really don't have much time. Peptic ulcer. Please come out quickly. Break every chain. We're going to minister to everyone. Just please, I hope we all have a sir. Please lift your hands. You yes, just lift it high. Look at me. That devil, right now, I command to leave you. Just look at me. Just look at me. Right now. Take your hands off his life. Right now. Right now. Come out of him right now. I 
I hear the chains falling. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Please look at me. This is not magic. We are not playing games. This is business tonight. Right? You have a role to play. Your role is to believe God. Forget about me. Are you following me now? Hi. Good to see you. Come. She used to hold my Bible those days. Come now. No. She used to hold light for me. Remember? First and second generation here and I. Third generation. Uh, Jebo people, they wouldn't know. Hallelujah. These were the ladies that went for crusade those days. We were broke, but we had God. So we knew it was just a matter of time. Hallelujah. And then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood. But now most of our ladies, oh, the stove is not good. I want microwave. I'm just joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That devil is a liar. So I'll start with you. Can I pray for you? Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bob celebrate him. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house. Celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano, is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jake's all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Alright, let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying. Even as we minister to these people, the Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. There is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence... There is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch, is flowing. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, there is healing. The Holy Spirit and to touch is blowing Jesus. We believe, we believe Jesus.
to the sick if you brought any sick person this is a time to minister to them hallelujah i won't be doing this alone i'm glad we have um a lot of hands and we're going to do that please carry him if you, if you can't get up just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space come just on ha. you won't be mad in jesus name came with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them quickly please bring them out worship team you're going to lead us and um, let's have all of them ushers coordinate them hold on what's wrong with her let me just start with her quickly what's the issue hold on while they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? Huh? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, I bring you life the power of the kingdom I represent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are not hepatitis you are a spirit you won't confuse us go now out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her rise up whole just let, let, just let leave her down she will rise up whole hallelujah those of us standing here I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemio said, have mercy on me. The Bible says, it is only for the Lord's mercy otherwise would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around, let's see you wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed in Jesus' name. Alright, so I'll invite the men of God, Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi. How about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord, Prophet Sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just just direct them it really doesn't matter who prays for you don't just say you must be no don't <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah worship team are you ready so let's pray thank you jesus we will do this very fast okay i'll pray for them go ahead 
God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Out of her. God is go, go, go. a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is. you make sure you check yourself 
check yourself a lot of things are happening please stand up everybody Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing somebody, you're having a burning sensation. It comes very strongly, especially in the night. Like your half right side, almost the whole of your half right side, burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg. Please wish that person come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. And then the Lord is showing me someone. In fact, a number of people, you are up to five. Hallelujah. You feel something moving in your body. This has happened recurrently. Sometimes it's so much you even have to turn. You feel it literally moving. Please come out quickly. Quickly, quickly. Please, let's save time. That devil must go. one feeling this heat I'll pray for you right now hold my hands I rebuke stroke ah, wow I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command it to leave you once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ moving objects it will go right now you okay hold my hands look at me I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now in Jesus name I'm going to pray for you now everything that is not of God must bow the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It says glorify God in your body. Hallelujah. Daddy, what's, who brought him? He came by himself. What's the issue, sir? Moving object in my body. Moving object. You can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes, that wicked devil. Daddy, the Lord Jesus sets you free. Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes singing the name of our God. Let your health and vitality be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? You had what? An accident. When? And you enjoyed yourself. What did the doctor say happened to you? Oh, can they treated it? But your healing is well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body i command you now in the name of jesus christ off you go this moment right now in the name of jesus set god's people free i command that movement stops in the mighty name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost the movement stops you will never have it again because your body is the temple of the holy spirit it belongs to the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. I believe is the mother of somebody here. Um, where? Where is she? 
She's at home. You stood in for her. You believe Jesus will heal her. She will be healed in Jesus' name. Can I use you as a point of contact? Lift your hands. Something's moving, changing. Sound help us, huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in the in my head. <laughs> that time, all over my body, is, I have. Uh, I used to defeat all the time. How long has this been? It's twenty since nineteen eighty eight. Nineteen eighty eight. That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born. When the devil has been oppressing he's an old man satan is not young that old serpent story is a very old story praise the lord the bible called him a murderer who did he murder hallelujah mommy look at me what could you not do before what can you not do now sometimes if that thing hook me like Four to five to six months, I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout, since November last year, till July this year, I am not been feeling fine. I sick really. If sick. you're healed now, will you know? Yes. Sir. Okay, watch your miracle happen to you right now. Okay? Watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother, Lord. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you for healing me. For healing me. Father, thank you. Let your power set mommy free. Now! That wicked spirit that oppresses her. Go. Your time is up. You are a spirit. And tonight you bow. The life of God is entering your body, mommy. That's what you're feeling. What do you feel happening to you now? Something is leaving you. Huh? Yes, my body. All my body is suffering. Is what? All oh, my body is shivering. Right it's shivering. Inside, yes. Your whole, that's the power of God. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Mama, look at me. Um, it's not good to ask you how old you are, but let's do something. All right? Something that can make you tired and let's see what happens. How do you feel in your body? Go ahead. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. <laughs> Could you do this before? How do you feel in your body right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at Look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few I minutes right now. Aid, Mama dance. I give it by. I give it by. I give it by. Come on, help Mama encourage her. I give it by. Go to a car, she ne ke mo ni ne. Look at Mama dance. I give it by. Go to a car, she ne ke mo ni ne. I give it by. Yeah. 
God bless you, Mama. You are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. So, I do have ear problem. What does that mean? You don't hear very well with this? Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her. God is walking. 17 seconds and you are healed. Come exactly. Close that ear. Jesus. Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Alpha. Omega. Jesus. Beginning. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on all the ones that have a problem. <sighs> Mama, is your eyes? Ah, Mama, okay, no problem. No problem, she. Please, just, just leave her. You people don't know what she has gone through. Your eyes. What's wrong with it? Sometimes I, well, I can't see between the day for my friends. Like, what can you not? Okay, what can you see now? I'm seeing. I'm seeing, but I didn't see it well. You are not seeing this thing very well now. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, ah. That devil is a liar. Yeah. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too. What's your own? Mine was since when I was five. Water just keeps on coming out. And Water comes, comes out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I bring you life I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent and that wicked spirit you see the same thing happening to her are you seeing the same thing this is not fake are you seeing the same thing now two different people same operation of the spirit look at look at it hmm. see her face she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking Thank you, Jesus.
let there be perfection in this year yeah i speak to you be opened just take your hand away you'll see the power of god going through your body Which one couldn't you hear with? Close the one you can hear with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Jesus. I... Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. In the name of Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big clap of praise my sister it goes forever do you believe this you're happy about what god has done it has gone forever mama let's attend to you now you came out because you believe in jesus i'm going to pray for your eyes and your eyes will be open jesus son of god i believe in you Perfect Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract. Cataract. That's what is wrong with you. Cataract. That's the name of the sickness. I believe in you. I believe in you. For your power and for your glory. For your power and for your glory. Let's see now. Is there any improvement? Is there any improvement? Yes. What can you see? Hold on. Hold on, please. What can you see now? I see them. Cattle and you are seeing them now. now. Could you see them very well before? You could not see them at all. Yes. Try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing. Just blue. This, one. this tie. Yes. This. Is yes. Red. red. What of what they are wearing? You couldn't see them before. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see it? No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate. How can I help this woman? Hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay. okay. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Yes. This one, like color, like uh, or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, Mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? People that are standing up far off them. And then in class, I can't see the board. I can't see what is okay. so let's, let's just hurry up. What's, what's it for? You are using glasses too. And you are tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's... You don't know how terrible the sickness is until uh, it comes on your body. It won't come on you. 
we have a few minutes guys and we're done we have to hurry up um there's a there's a part of a prophecy where i speak over your life can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone please your prayer request very quickly if you do not have a prayer request please write it's not a religious ritual at all god gave us an instruction the bible says how that hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the lord and said lord behold your threatenings so i'll pray for you what are you all here for high from my dad my your dad has eye problem my grandmother has eye. your dad too has eye problem my grandmother my grandmother your grandmother yes. ah how old is she i don't know no 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 but the bible talks about joshua who was old okay hold your hands together please let's save time you can begin to submit your request please inside and outside hold your hands no no just these two just two of you just two of you let me pray for you jesus heal their parents heal all the people who are sick right now let the power of god cause healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ how about you eye problem lay your hands on your eyes you too lay your hands you too lay your hands all of you all of you with high problem ah you play drums and you're blind uh, oh your mom okay father in the name of jesus christ okay now we're having more people just coming to say i'm tired what do we do now all right eye problem both out here and wherever you are um okay just lay your hands on your eyes and i'll pray for you please we are not playing games don't think we're faking it we're very very serious very serious very serious thank you jesus please write your requests write your request this is december whatever it is that you're trusting god to do for you ha the power of god is moving already it's touching more than the ice it's not just ice satan go go right now let that i thing live by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i touch your eyes be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus be healed please check yourselves you can go back to your seats and check yourselves check yourselves god bless you Sweet out your eyes as young as you are lay your hands perfection oh lord in the name of jesus christ perfection for gladys please as you go back check yourself hallelujah let's have the requests there's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem you have a heart problem i must attend to you heart problem please heart problem i want to pray for you now this thing is eating you up it's a heart problem it's causing weakness in your body you can't even move far you begin to who is the person you are the one with a heart problem what did they say is wrong you are not the only one the person i'm seeing is very lean this thing is eating you blood is not pumping well in your body and it's causing weakness of your body what's wrong i just go straight to the point what is what what did they say what did the i doctor? was told my heart was too large for too much stress your heart is too large for too much stress for what too much stress what does that mean doctors doctors okay your heart is too large for too much stress oh from too much stress ah uh -huh. stress footballer we are going to pray for you here you are going abroad. You are going abroad. You will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. We're sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord bless you heart problem 
Ah. ah. What did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Go! Right now. Be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your hand on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Heart, return to your normal position. What did they say is wrong with you? It's my palpitation. They called it hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something. Hypertrophic myocardia. I don't uh, what does it do? Medical what does it do to you? It doesn't yes. pump. Uh, my heart doesn't yes, pump. The Lord showed me. It's not pumping blood in your body it's and so it makes you me. weak. I huh? bring out foam, foam from my mouth. You bring out foam sometimes. Yeah. I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound. Huh? And the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil. Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. They diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus. This is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. God is doing a work. I command your weight to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. You return here with your testimony. How about your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When I want to read. I can... You feel pain when you wake up in the morning. If you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now. Let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's heart because it's at that point. It's not heart. Just lay your hand. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now. Had what? Hot, hot. Vagina. He told me. That's, that's, that's the, what told me. Your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. When I can I see walk, you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady, perfect her now. Let her go. A wicked spirit. Release her right now the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See? See the healing? This is, this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free.
Lay your hands on her chest, my dear. With a shout, you will be free. With a shout, you will be free. Thank you, Jesus. With a shout, you will be free. Perfect her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. She's free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay, they have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We are going to pray on this request right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass, please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please, I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bala da bosh. Rakata prakata foko so protoko to bala da baga da baga. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bala da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa to poko to praga da bala da ba. Mambra taka pros. Perfection, O God. Reto so to protoko to pakate. Ente te preto so to loko to prakate. Rento so proko so prega da bala da da bosh. Maka prakata bala da baga da prega da bala da bosh. Enkri so so poko to prega da bala da bosh. Father, let there be miracles, testimonies. We change this prayer request. Reto so to loko to bosh. May they become testimonies in the name of Jesus. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus. Change impossible situations. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer, petition, not find a resting place until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir, we bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers tonight by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three to skip area in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing miracle is just one of the many reasons. There are very few people. The fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas. Finance, breakthrough, marriage hallelujah i want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands mm. thank you jesus the power of marital delay It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now at the count of three, I command the power. Because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down. Wherever you are, you're standing in for yourself and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
at the count of three let the power of god move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies no matter how long it is you're ready now want you to shout that name at the count of three one two three break 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 every spell of marital delay i break it now in the name of jesus break 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 go poto kota break break in the mighty name of jesus break every yoke of marital delay break 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 we release supernatural marriages koto pariata seketeka shekele koto bakata labakaya break every curse every yoke we apply the blood by the mystery of the blood yet one last plague shall i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go we release you into your marital destinies in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah oh yeah they are around okay please let them come they can come we want to pray for them those of you trusting god for jobs please lift your hands i want you to believe this while we will pray for them shortly but let's pray for jobs lift your hands i'm going to just shout jesus once and the power of god will locate people there will be mighty testimonies between now and the next miracle service lift your hands promotion comes neither from the east nor the west i don't care who you know or who you don't know we are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven it is within our power to bind and lose he said for i am a man under authority and i say unto one go and he goeth right now in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to shout the name right now jesus let there be jobs whatever power is holding people down from jobs in the name of jesus by the favor of god i command miracle jobs in the name of jesus hallelujah now stretch your hands towards ejimi was you praying ejimi and hope Jimmy was one of our ministers here hope was the head of department one time of the welfare it's good to serve the lord when you serve the lord he will bless you that's what the bible says stretch your hands tomorrow there'll be wedding right here please you are invited it's compulsory for the whole koinonia family we must come around and back them and rejoice the time is 10 on the dot the reception is at blue roof hallelujah stretch your hands father bless them bless them bless them we bless you with the blessings of the heavens we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness may you find favor with god may you find favor with men your home is built upon love your home is built upon wisdom your home is built upon understanding and knowledge in the name of jesus christ you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the lord and your seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the righteous will be blessed wealth and riches will be in your house in the name of jesus christ we bless you for serving the body of christ we bless you for serving this house may the lord honor you may the lord honor you may your harvest come speedily we connect you with a hundredfold anointing may you see it speedily we command men to help you we command men to bless you 
and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped may you get the help of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please stand up sir thank you let me give you a big hug it's good to be married all your cake was not for nothing hallelujah God bless you thank you so tomorrow we are here hallelujah now lift your hands I want to prophesy thank you Jesus please believe it for me this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of God to find expression inside and outside please please beautiful you are wonderful you've been you are glorious faithful in all your ways my help and my reward you are glorious my god beautiful you lift your hands I command every door that has been closed over your destiny I prophesy to it right now be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God had anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I prophesy upon your life rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus hallelujah I command every dead prayer life in this place every dead prayer altar in this place come alive now in the name of Jesus come alive now in the name of Jesus come alive now come alive now in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Bible says they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their hand help them but because you love them and you showed favor towards them I want to pray in the name of Jesus right where you are standing may the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon i pray in the name of jesus i command wine pressers i command bakers all those who will recommend you to your place of honor i call them into your life in the name of jesus i call them into your life in the name of jesus and David said is there any man of the house of Saul left that I may show him kindness and the Bible says they brought a cripple called Mephibosheth I pray no matter what your limitations are may God send people who will recommend you and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day nor the noisome pestilence it says they shall bear thee up on their wings so that you will not dash your feet against a stone it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you with your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked i command that you are preserved right now you have no covenant with death 
you are preserved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls. I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life, for the next level of your career, in the mighty name of Jesus, may you hear the voice of the Spirit. May it be clear unto you. May it be clear unto you. I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says when she had the wisdom of Solomon, she said that she did not even hear a half. I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the Spirit in your life. Receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, does any man lack wisdom? Let him ask of God who giveth unto men liberally. Let that dimension of wisdom come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today. I pray that any plague of death over your life. He said, let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel. And that when the angel of death comes, when he sees the blood, he will pass by. I declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not. Even as you move around during this Yuletide season, I command death is far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind whatever puts fear in your life i want you to know that your god is mighty and able and let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus i declare whatever your family members have been praying and trusting god for before this year runs out in the mighty name of jesus listen brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes god it doesn't take time the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating he wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway the prophetic word created that scenario in the name of jesus everything that is missing that your loved ones are trusting god for by the creative power of god's word we create breakthroughs in the name of jesus Every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare Lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ For God give it unto a man that is good in his sight, wisdom, and blessings, and peace. But to the unbeliever, he gives to heap and to travail, that he will bring to him that fears God. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. I declare that your business is blessed. I declare that the works of your hands are blessed. I declare that your ministry is blessed. I declare that your family is blessed in the name of the lord jesus christ be distinguished and be blessed you will go back home as a savior go and heal the sick go and cast out devils go and raise the dead 
go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom i declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with god and power with men in the name of jesus christ the bible says and immediately his fame went abroad the bible says when he entered the city it was noised it didn't tell us those who publicized it i pray that all those who need to take word about that which god has put in your life that can bless men i compel them to noise it abroad in the name of jesus christ may it be known that you are a deliverer may it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom may it be known that you can solve problems all those who have been designed to honor the gift of god in your life to recognize to honor it i pray that god will bring them your way in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus and i pray that there be a hunger for the things of the spirit i plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of god beyond your imagination in the name of jesus christ everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned to you i pray that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration you can choose not to believe it you will not go to hell but i prophesy again to you that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration in the name of jesus christ doors of opportunities be open doors of grace i command breakthrough into your life in the name of jesus every captivity in your life i prophesy surely there is an end and i call tonight the end of it in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah the bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you i declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of god in your life i compel cyrus's by the power of the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing i want to give an opportunity to those who have never made jesus lord of their lives please inside and outside please let's have minimal movement all those who have never made a decision for jesus christ the bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy and heavy laden and i will give you rest it says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. This is an opportunity. 
you have seen the hand of God but all of this is pointing you to the fact that God is love and he wants to establish a vital relationship with you right now as I count one to five I want you to leave your seat forget about anyone you came here with and say Jesus I'm coming to you let's start all over hallelujah begin to appreciate them don't wait for anybody you are the first person one God bless you keep coming God bless you inside and outside please keep coming don't sit back there inside and outside no matter how far we're waiting for you just hurry up and come God bless you two God bless you keep coming but adventure you've been born again and you're saying Lord I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ three please keep coming don't let anybody stop you whether you're a pastor whether you're a bishop keep coming God bless you God bless you keep coming God bless you this is what it's all about keep coming keep coming it's all about four keep coming there's one last count no matter how far you are outside you can keep coming it's all about hallelujah praise the Lord thank you so much I salute you brothers and sisters for coming we do not take it for granted thank you for the boldness I want you to make a decision for Jesus Christ you don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer but this is just to guide you and to help you lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depths of your heart it's not a special number mean it from your heart say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me and tonight I make Jesus Lord of my life forgive me my sins cleanse me from every unrighteousness I declare that I'm saved the Spirit of God lives in me my name is in the book of life from today I have a relationship with Jesus I denounce sin and Satan and I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life in Jesus name now let me pray for you father thank you the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you have brought these ones by the power of your spirit preserve them let the same grace that brought them out preserve them use them for your glory empower them may they be mighty men and women in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen now hold on thank you for making this great decision praise the Lord I want you to follow the ushers we will be having a meeting with you we'll communicate to you tomorrow by five at the chapel hallelujah there'll be people there to come and pray with you get you filled with the Holy Spirit teach you a few things and um, please try to make it you'll receive a text to this effect but just make sure that you are available and we love you God bless you welcome to the biggest kingdom the family of God just follow the ushers follow the lady waving her hands bless you bless you follow the lady waving her hands hallelujah now all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time worshiping with us here at koinonia inside and outside no matter how far you are we have a prayer and a blessing for you i want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you for coming thank you daddy thank you mommy thank you for coming god bless you please keep coming if there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come, there is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. 
We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Prayer works here. We are men of faith and of the power of the Spirit. If we bless you, believe me, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands and prophesy. Speak into their lives. You are anointed. You are blessed. So go ahead and bless them. Prophesy. We release words of blessings. You are preserved. We plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.